Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the Feast of St. Matthew, one of the twelve apostles of Jesus, and a writer, an evangelist of the life of Christ. Let us prepare ourselves to encounter Jesus in this Eucharist. Let us call to mind our many sins and beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Lord Jesus, you show us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd, leading us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on, on earth, earth peace to people of goodwill. goodwill. We, we praise you, you we, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. 
For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who with untold mercy were pleased to choose an, as an apostle St. Matthew, the tax collector, grant that sustained by his example and intercession, we may merit to hold firm in following you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call you have received, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing one another through love, striving to preserve the unity of the Spirit through the band of peace, one body and one Spirit. As you were also called to the one hope of your call, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all, and in all. But grace was given to each of us according to the measure of Christ's gift. And he gave some as apostles, others as prophets, others as evangelists, others as pastors and teachers to equip the holy ones for the work of ministry for building up the body of Christ until we all attain to the unity of faith and knowledge of the Son of God, to mature manhood to the extent of the full stature of Christ. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Their message goes out through all the earth their message goes out through all the earth the heavens declare the glory of god and the firmament proclaims his handiwork day pours out the word today and night to night imparts knowledge their message goes out through all the earth not a word nor a discourse whose voice is not heard through all the earth their voice resounds and to the ends of the world their message their message goes out through all the earth alleluia alleluia is a lamp for my feet and a light on my path. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus passed by, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the customs post. He said to him, Follow me. And he got up and followed him. While he was at table in his house, many tax collectors and sinners came and sat with Jesus and his disciples. 
The Pharisees saw this and said to his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? He heard this and said, Those who are well do not need the physician, but the sick do. Go and learn the meaning of the words, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, in our first reading today, St. Paul says that there are various gifts that God has given to us. There are different kinds of vocations in the church, different kinds of callings. Some are called to be prophets, others teachers, others pastors. Some are called to be apostles and evangelists, like St. Matthew, whose feast day we celebrate today. And all these gifts are for the building up of the church. Ang mga regalong ibinigay ng Diyos sa atin ay para sa ikatataguyod ng simbahan. The story on how Matthew became an apostle of Jesus is interesting. And this story we heard in our gospel today, which Matthew himself narrated, Jesus passed by and saw Matthew. And seeing Matthew, he said, follow me. My dear brothers and sisters, Matthew was an unlikely to be an apostle of Jesus because Matthew was a tax collector. And during the time of Jesus, tax collectors were considered grave sinners. They were also looked upon as traitors. That is why their fellow Jews would hate them because they collect taxes for the Romans who were occupying them. And then Jesus passed by and invited Matthew to follow him. And immediately, according to our gospel, Matthew left everything, left his work, left his customs post, and followed Jesus. Now, my dear brothers and sisters, this makes us ask, what made it so easy for Matthew to leave everything behind for Jesus? Bakit parang napakadali kay Mateo na iwanan na lamang ang lahat at sumunod kay Jesus? It is because Jesus showed Matthew mercy and love. Jesus looked at Matthew with compassion and mercy. Jesus did not wait for Matthew to change his ways in order to call him and invite him to follow him. Hindi na hinintay ni Jesus na maging mabuti si Mateo, magbago ng kalooban si Mateo, maging banal si Mateo para siya anyayahang sumunod sa kanya. Jesus treated Matthew with mercy. 
Jesus made Matthew feel loved. And probably for the first time, someone did not pass judgment on Matthew. Maybe for the first time, Matthew felt that there is someone who is interested to be my friend. Ang dami-daming tao ang hinuhusgahan si Mateo, kinaiinisan at galit kay Mateo. Pero sa unang pagkakataon, may isang taong interesadong makipagkaibigan sa kanya. For the first time, someone valued him. Someone saw his person. And because of this, Matthew took the opportunity to change and to follow Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, the story of Matthew teaches us the formula on how to change other people and how to change ourselves. Maraming tao gusto tayong baguhin. Gusto nating baguhin ang ugali ng ating asawa at mga anak. Gusto nating magbago ang ating mga kamag-anak, mga kaibigan. Gusto nating baguhin ang ating lipunan. Tularan natin ang pamamaraan na ginawa ni Jesus para sa pagbabagong buhay ni Mateo. Sometimes, all that a person needs in order to change is not a lecture. Not a seminar, not a sermon. Minsan ang kailangan ng tao para magbago, hindi naman yung sermonan mo, paggalitan mo, o pag-undergoin mo ng seminar. Sometimes, all that a person needs in order to change is our compassion, our mercy. Our love. It worked for Matthew. It will surely work for us. St. Matthew's life was changed by the call and challenge of the Master. May our prayers express a conversion of life which makes the sensitive, which makes us sensitive to the needs of others. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That programs of renewal may mark our Catholic life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. That we may accept the challenge and call to conversion rather than give in to the invitations of the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those involved in financial matters may not sacrifice their souls for wealth and power. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the spirituality infirm may seek help in the sacrament of healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray for an end to the pandemic, that the sick be healed, especially our beloved Archbishop Jose, and those who care for them be strengthened and help us all to persevere in faith and charity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the dead may be forgiven of their sins. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal petitions. Let us remember the people who need our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass.
Almighty God, with the prayers of St. Matthew, accept the petitions of your people, the new Israel, called together by the grace of your risen Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we celebrate anew the memory of St. Matthew, we bring you sacrifices and prayers, O Lord, humbly imploring you to look kindly on your church whose faith you have nourished by the preaching of the Apostles, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore now and for ages unending, with all the host of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Matthew, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is Yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, God. hallowed be Thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
priest, who came to call not the just, but sinners to salvation, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Panginoon, 